Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use Twine. Now, the first thing, of course, you've got to do is click on the link, which is shared on the Computing Homepage or Google Classroom to access this page. Now, I'm just going to show you an example just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Here's a starter story I've already prepared. And what you get is a page and then the lines you've got between each of the pages, each of these squares, the pages that show the links. If I click on the start pages to edit it, you'll see this is what it looks like. So you've got some text, you've got the choices, and these are in square brackets. And then this is how you add an image. I've got a separate video about that to go into more detail. And of course, this is the name of the page you start with, and this is called the start page. So let's show you how to make one of these very quickly. So I'm going to go back to the beginning by clicking home, take you back to the home page. Uh, and then I'm going to click the green story button and we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it example. Okay, and click add. And it's going to open up our new uh, story and it starts by adding a single page. So what I'm going to do is click on the edit button. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give you um, names of start page. This is quite important to name the first thing, the start page or the main page, and then we're going to just add some text. You've got some tools here to make it look nice with bold and underline and things like that. So, um, this, is, uh, this is the start of the story. You are in a wood. Do you? And here's some choices. Do you uh, go west? Um, go deeper into the woods. Okay, these are just two choices. Now, to turn them into choices, you have to put double square brackets around them. You can do this as you're typing. I was just showing you by typing in the choices. You know you'll have done it right because they go blue. And so once you've done that, this is your text. This is it. I'm not adding any images. And then I click close, and it automatically creates the pages, the links I'll put in. So if I go here, this is called Do You Go West? Because this is exactly the name of the page. And then go. So we can add some more text to our story here and more choices, and they'll automatically generate more pages. So here's something I'll quickly copy in. Uh, we start to walk along the path. Um, do you go back? And then do you head towards the house you see in the distance? And you close this, and it gives us two more choices. So as you start to build your story, your choices will start to be created, and then you can add more and more pages and detail to your story. Um, if you want to play your game to check it out, simply choose one of the pages and click the play button, or you can hit the play button down here to work through it to just to check it's working how you expect. I do encourage you to get other people to play the game as well while you're working because they'll spot errors. One final thing to uh, remember is the work is saved on the machine you're working on. So if I hit the home button here, this is saved on the computer you're working on. So make sure you're aware of what Chromebook you're working on. Look on the bottom of the Chromebook. If you're not sure, there should be a number, um, a red number, and they should be put out from 1 to 30 going around the room. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to seeing what you make.